Welcome back to another gold making video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a 1 million gold transmog farm for the Glazer. So a gla the Glazer is a transmog item that is super, super rare and it sells from anywhere from like 900 to like 1.2 million gold on the auction house. It's a really cool looking transmog. It's like a boot hammer looking thing and a lot of people really, really like it. So first off, you want to head over to the Battle of Azeroth and you want to head to this spot right here that I'm showing on the map and that is where the farm is located. So once you go through the portal, you just want to go up north a bit to this spot right here and there's like a little town full of all these mobs that actually have a chance of dropping it. So they look like honey, honey mobs or something like that and there's a whole heap of them. Now to do this the best way and the most efficiently, you want to do a two by four farm here or at least get a group going where you just can all farm um, the same mobs and you just all share the loot table. So this is what it looks like at the farm and as you can see there's a whole heap of mobs. The big guys and the little guys both have a chance of actually dropping the glazer and you should expect to get one in like anywhere from like one hour to say three to four hours of farming here. So if you do get one within that time, it's definitely, definitely worth farming because this thing can sell for one million gold. Now there's a few other items that you can get from here. You can get like transmog pieces that add up extra gold too, like some little transmog pieces. There's actually a couple other like epic transmog pieces that sell for a decent amount of gold. Um, as you can see, we're just on level 60 doing this. You can actually do this with the level 70 now, obviously with Dragonflight and you can get way more kills than we currently are. This is me just doing it solo, so if you can't find a group, you can actually do it solo and it still works, but it's way more efficient if you get a group going, and especially if you can get a two by four group going, meaning two groups of four people, that way all eight people share the same loot table. But with the level 70s, you're gonna not get hit as hard as I am, and you're gonna go a lot quicker at actually killing these. But like I said, the main gold comes from the glazer. You do get the odd other transmog and some little transmogs that would add up over time. But the big, big gold from this farm is by getting the glazer. So I recommend farming this until you get at least one glazer and then having that on the auction house. And then once it sells, you can come do the farm again. As you can see though, if you're doing it with a group, you basically just want to tag everything have a monk, have a statue in the middle area right there where we have the skull set up. Then you want to pull everything back to the statue where the group can kill it. And this is the best way to actually farm this. Now, if you're the monk, you just want to stand where the skull is, set up a statue and basically AOE and burn them down. You can also have a couple DPSs. As you can see there, we actually just got a different transmog piece that sells for a decent amount of gold but it wasn't the glazer, but you can still get some pretty good pieces here. So that's got a mark of 21K. So if you get a few of them uh, per hour, you can actually make up a decent amount of gold. Also, if you're into selling transmog pieces and farming transmog pieces, this is the absolutely great spot to come and do, especially if you get your hands on the glazer, you'll be cheering because it's on most rounds over one mil currently, and they sell extremely, extremely well. And because of how rare it is, and a lot of people really want the transmog because it's, it's actually really cool looking. But this is how you farm for the glazer. You can put up in LFG, like glazer farm or write like 1 million gold farm or something like that and a whole heap of people will join. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video on the glazer farm. If you'd like more farming spots, farming tips and tricks about how to make gold in World of Warcraft, you can find all of that inside of my Dragonflight gold making guide, which will be the first link down below, and also pop it up on the screen right now for you. But I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone that has got it so far, Let's left positive and kind words about the guide. Till the next one guys, take care.